Right, these will look uh, a little bit different, but you still can continue on from really the kind of questions I've done from uh, the previous videos. I uh, recognize this is question 13. Um, now, so you've got to look at this and think to yourself, right, what can you see that I can factor out of this? Um, now, really, this is just a very visual thing, because what you're looking at is, is can you see what's common to both these two terms? Um, right, that plus in between separates into two terms. What's in this one that's the same as this one? And what it is, is it's the y plus 3. That's the thing that can be factored out. So this y plus 3, all right, in theory, think about it, you can put y plus 3 under both of these. Okay, but I'm not going to do that again. Visually, it's just there's a y plus 3 that is common to both. All right? So if I factor it out, what's left? Well, visually, think about it. If you take these, these out, you know, as a single thing, okay, I've taken a y plus 3 out. What's left is x plus 6. So that is how you write it. Okay? It's like you're doing a foil. I mean, or the reverse of a foil. Okay? There's, you're not going to foil this. But look, you don't put any pluses in between. Okay, the x plus 6 is that second parenthesis. So this is a very visual thing. Um, let's just keep on going and look at the second one. Can you see in the second one, there's a y minus 3 in both of them. So what I'm going to do is write y minus 3. Okay, because that's what can be factored out of both of them. If I do factor a y minus 3 out of both of them, can you see what's left is an x minus 15. So that's the second parenthesis, x minus 15. And honestly, that's it. I mean, you won't get any questions on the test, but we're going to be doing this for like, when I see 16 and 17 down below on this video, which I won't do yet, um, you'll need to be able to know how to do this to kind of fully do 16 and 17 and questions that will be on the test. So, now this next one, um, this is just, again, visuals again, watch it, little trick one. Uh, I can still see that an A minus B is what's common to both. But actually, somebody in the class today, so again, you're going to watch these videos in the future, somebody said, wait a minute, should I put a 1 after that plus sign? In other words, plus 1 A minus B. And I thought, yeah, well, great, yeah, you don't have to think about it right now, because as long as the visuals here, I can see an A minus B is common to both. A minus B, and then another A minus B, with a plus in between. And what's left when I, in theory, when I take this out, if I, you know, factor these out as an a minus b, what's left you can see is the 15a, then plus, well, this is where the students say, do I need to write a 1 there? Yeah, 1 times anything is not going to change anything, but you need the 1 just to finish off the factoring, okay? And that's it. Um, that's you factoring. It's not really factored by grouping yet. We'll kind of move into that, but... Um, that's you factoring those parentheses out, and then what's left. It's very visual. Don't think too much math there. It's just very visual.